All right, on this episode of What I Bought This Week, we are going to talk about bags. Right there, this thing. There you go, take a look at it. That's brass hardware right there. All right, so, close up of a bag. Sorry, it's not the best view. But of course, you can go elsewhere and find a beautiful picture of it on the internets. And it is a Filson bag. So what is Filson? Filson is a proprietor of bags, luggage. They started back about 130 years ago, I think somewhere in the late 1800s. And they were a logger outfitting company. So right away I love it because this is a company that started over 100 years ago in building outdoor goods. Things that were meant to uh, basically be relied on while you're outdoors, you know, bears chasing you, uh, I don't know, crossing rivers, streams, Oregon Trail, whatever it is you're doing out there. Started in Seattle, awesome company. If you, by the way, side note, if you ever go to Seattle, check out their store. It is really, really cool. So Filson bags. I travel a lot and people always ask me, what is the baggage that I love? Well, I carry quite a few different types of bags depending on the payload that I have, the video equipment I might have, but if I ever carry a duffel bag, it is usually the Filson that I go to. And the reason is this, is that thing is indestructible. So Filson has a saying and they stand by it and it is might as well buy the best. And they mean it because that thing is built really, really well. They have a bunch of different bags in different materials, but the majority of them are like a heavy cotton twill or a wax cotton. Uh, some of those are waterproof. They use really nice, leather, the same leather that you would see on like a horse bridle. So it's very, very tough leather. They use brass hardware that's custom to them so the zippers won't get messed up. And they have a lifetime warranty. And the awesome part of the some bags and what I love so much about them is that they are actually uh, vintage collectivized, uh, collective items as well. You can go on eBay and search for Filson right now and you'll see the old ones that are sort of like worn in and have a lot of unique patina and character to them. They actually sell for more than some of the new ones because people love them that much. And if you take yours to the Filson store and it's all sorts of messed up because uh, you decide to try to like stab it or you actually try to really, really break your bag, they will fix it for you. Uh, I don't know if they'll do it if you're intentionally trying to destroy it. But if you have a really destroyed bag, they will take it, they'll repatch it up, they'll repurpose it and they'll give it back to you and it'll look even cooler. So for me, I love it, it's a lot of character, it's a lot of history, it works really well, they've got so many different sizes, it's not super expensive, and you know, people who know it and see it, they appreciate it, it's not in your face, sort of like a, a Louis Vuitton, which I get, you know, they have really cool designs sometimes, or, or Gucci, or any of those fashion brands, but this is not a fashion brand, this is a utility bag brand, it works, it's still beautiful in its own rugged way, and I love Filson bags and uh, that's what I bought this week uh, because I love them so much and I had to get one in a different size. So check them out. There will be a link below to their website and I'll see you on the next What I Bought This Week.